Can you actually get sued for putting a red cross on a medkit in a video game? This thread explains ifs. The issue is less about it being the Red Cross Org's trademark, and more about it being an important internationally recognized under the Geneva Convention's humanitarian symbol of non-combatants in a war zone. Diluting this by depicting a combatant carrying and using the symbol for any purpose risks diluting the meaning of it. To my knowledge no one has actually been sued over it, only issued a cease and desist. And no one has really called the Red Cross bluff on it. In legal terms, there's a reasonable argument that it's such a ubiquitous symbol that it can't be copyrighted. But, no one is looking to fuck around and find out with the Geneva Convention. Plus the Red Cross argument is morally sound if not legally, so no one wants the bad press. So no one has ever pushed them on it. Practically speaking no the real problem is putting a Red Cross on a character who fights any person with a Red Cross on them real or fictional must be a non-combatant. A few years back, there was an outcry Colombian military pretended to be part of the Red Cross in a raid to rescue hostages one was a French woman who was held hostage for five years from FARC. Using the Red Cross is considered a violation of the Geneva Convention. The convention grants them the role they take during war. As a result they are very protective of its use in anything they don't want any confusion. The sign is also trademark, so in situations like video games it's a copyright trademark violation they can use. Yes, it's not for money it's for compliance. Wait, so in Halo, for example, Bungie had to pay to put a red cross on health power-ups? It's true, happened to concerned Ape, the one-man developer of Stardew Valley. He released a patch and in the notes wrote now in line with the Geneva Convention. If anything the majority of comments prove their point. Through video games many people commenting think it means medical care rather than non-combatant protected by the Geneva Convention. Yes you can. It's a copyrighted symbol and protected by treaty. I've always been curious. If you were to depict the Red Cross as its organization similarly to how some use the World Health Organization, would that be a major violation? Would it just be a problem because you're depicting them in general? How did TF2 get away with medkits and the medic who can gunfight having Red Crosses? NAL, but it seems to me if someone pressed them on it, it would be hard to claim they owned it since it was in use by the army before the Red Cross used it. I tried reversing the colors now the Swiss are after me. It's either I piss off the Jesus crowd, Red Cross, or Switzerland. There's just no winning with these damned crosses. I am going to be the dick and throw politics into this they didn't seem to concerned when the Russians blew up their convoy with an airstrike, so maybe they will feel similarly about you using their logo. We had a green cross on the door of the truck closest to the med kit at one of the companies I worked for. Yes but most studios choose to comply to the strongly worded letter from a humanitarian group with active backing from the UN and virtually every military group on the planet. Be careful, the red crescent and red crystal are also not allowed to be used, also very innocuous shapes and colors. Red Cross has plenty of money to see you with. They only apply dot one one cents of every dollar to charity. Oh no, video games aren't allowed to have this trademark, so we don't get any confusion on a real-life battlefield, sure wouldn't want anything bad to happen to any real living video game icons or characters. That part is stupid as hell. What if I use a red X slightly rotated?